little crazy. You guys. This is the least I'm in my. Good morning. I have a couple minutes to film, but not many. It's 7.27. Um, and the reason why I might look a little crazy is because I self-tanned last night. Like, my body looks okay, but I really shouldn't be doing the body stuff on my face. Maybe. But whatever. I'm putting on makeup later, so hopefully I can just match it to my body a bit and it won't really matter. So right now I'm going to search YouTube TV because I haven't gotten to watch game day all year. And I have Virginia Tech games queued as like a favorite, but I don't have game day, which means I wouldn't be able to go back my workout class. Listen to this. The Capital One okay. Venture X Business Card. My workout class goes until 8.50 and game day starts at nine. So I can play it from the beginning when I get back. There we go. I found it, all good. Scheduled, oh, add to library. So I think I can watch it when I get back now. Yay. So when I get back, yeah, I need to leave in like five minutes. My preferred brand of tennis shoes are Hoka's. I have inserts uh, from the podiatrist in the Hoka's, but this is like my fifth or sixth pair like I just love hokas so much I'm just wearing these old ass dry fit socks I need it please comment down below if you have a good pair of socks that you like yeah let me put these on I would love to get some like ankle high socks because I feel like that's very trendy right now I'm in vice bicycle shorts so typically with Orange Theory, it's a run, um, row, weight floor, but this is like a new workout class they're having people buy, having people um, try. Still need to get moving. I would usually not be in something like this. Um, I'm usually in leggings and a very supportive sports bra. Yeah, my Hoka is because I'm running and I just need lots of support. But I was like, today, because they added a lift 45 class, but you were still like hopping around. And so, and like the coach that explained the lift 45s, he was like, there's never going to be burpees or anything. And there was the first time that I went to a lift 45. And I think that's the only one I went to. I might have gone to two. But I was like, this isn't really my thing. But this is supposed to encourage um, heavier lifting. Um, so I'm very excited. I am a, definitely a weight floor girly. I have gotten into running a lot more. And I like rowing. So, like, Orange Series, a really great workout for me. I am addicted. I go, I try to go, well, I have an eight pack. So I can technically only go two class two times a week, but sometimes I'll add classes if like I really want to go. It used to be unlimited and I just don't think it was good for my body because I was trying to go like four or five times a week and also there was like no mix up in the workout. So class pass gave me and I don't think I should have to disclose this, but Past class is not sponsoring this video. I wish that they would because I've been loving my free month. I've already, I've gone to a spin class. I'm signed up for a boxing class next week. And then I'm signed up for another spin class, which is a Taylor Swift, Harry Styles ride. Um, and so maybe I'll like try to take you guys when I can, but it's just like awkward. Like even trying to take a picture of the, like neon sign in the spin class I was at. 
I felt kind of weird. I mean, it's early in the morning and people kind of look like zombies anyways. So maybe I will just take you along and say F it. Because we're trying to cuss less on the vlog. And yeah, just did, I used my boar bristle brush and just did like a little, I'm not even sure if I'm getting in the back of my head, but little braid. But yes, um, before I go, C4 um, pre-workout. My cousin is a personal trainer. Shout out Britt. She's in the Charlotte area. Um, well, Matthews, but I'm blanking on her new name. She just rebranded. But I can put information on her down below. Love you, Britt, but I'm not sure if I like the C4 uh, pre-workout because maybe I'm just too much of a basic bitch and I really like the Alani new. I think it just made me more of a psycho aka like probably has more caffeine or something some active ingredient that like my body likes better and I think I like the taste better but always down to try new um new pre-workouts but yes I'm going to put this in my blender bottle thing and then we need to hit the road. I will take you guys along with me. Got my pre-workout, got my wallet, I've got my sunglasses and let's hit the road. Do I dare say it's like kind of chilly out, which is so nice. I'm so over this hot weather. Probably not going to talk to you guys the whole time. It's because there's been a lot of talking in this video already. I'm wondering, I mean, I'm really close with these Orangery people. I've seen Gretchen Garrity is another YouTuber I watch. Passing someone walking their dog who is not a fan of my Duncan. He's not very nice. Anyways, yeah, Gretchen I have seen, well, yeah, I mean, it's super sh cl uh, short clip, not that I would need to be fixated on it the entire class. I'm not sure that they would like that very much. It would be good for like some B-roll stuff. Also, I need to be very careful. I know that car um, holding you guys as I go around this turn. Michael thinks I'm the craziest driver in the whole world. And you know what? I think that I'm a great driver. And it doesn't help that like Rivers Ave is crazy. Also, I've been having some low tire issues. I'm gonna have to um, deal with that today because I'm driving to Beaufort and I'm not happy about it because usually my dad just fixes up for me. My tires are supposed to be at 32 PSI. I believe I know that that stands for pounds per square inch smart car girl don't let those guys at the shops take advantage of me I know what I'm doing well sometimes not usually I usually just go to my car and call my dad and then he helps me the only reason why I knew what PSI stood for is because um, I looked it up yesterday because you can um, fun fact apparently the sticker on your driver's side window which I don't know if this is just for BMWs I feel like every car they've made that standard and I haven't obviously I shouldn't be looking at it while I'm driving but um, apparently your PSI is on that sticker which is cool because I mean the number is easy to forget but all of my tires are way below like seven below this is always scary having to turn right here by the bus I'm always scared that someone's gonna try to come in my car. That's okay. Anywho, nor Charleston problems. So I called my dad last night because I knew I was going to Buford and I was like, hey, you think it's really necessary for me to go like figure out my tire pressure because 
I just don't want to have to deal with that. My dad always, he has his own air compressor, compressor at his house. And it's just so nice that he just figures it out for me. It's something about like having to stick a bunch of change in a machine. I've had to where people were waiting on me and I'm like, I don't even know how to do this. You're making me stressed. Um, by having to wait for me behind this machine, I don't want to look like a dummy. And it's just like very stressful all around. I can get my oil change. I'm pretty good about like getting my car washed. It's just like the dang tire filling up my tires. But fun fact, if you are in the Charleston area, apparently the Costco in Park West if you're a member, you can use the tire, um, the air compressor there for free, which I'm not even sure where this thing is located. My dad said it's by the gas, which would make sense. I just hate when people ride in the right lane when there's people merging. I wasn't going to talk to you the whole entire way, but then I just go on these tangents. Also, another pet peeve of mine, why do you have a car that looks like a cop car? Like the Crown Fix that people leave all the equipment on, it just like freaks me out. I'm not gonna be mean, but they just don't look like police officers. I'm so sorry that I get on these rants. I hope that you guys at least find it entertaining. Oh my gosh! I'm next to a Firestone at Orange Theory. Because I was, well, it did make sense to go get gas from Costco and it's on my way out of town. So maybe I'll still do that, but it's Saturday and it's just gonna be so busy. I really feel like, like people say as they get older, like my parents talk it, about it all the time. Like once you're in a certain level in your career, like time is money and money is time. I'm still young and like early on in my career and so like yes I should be taking the time to like go shopping for my clothes and finding the best deals taking the time to find the best deals um and now this guy's gonna ride my booty I'll stay in the right lane I'm such a convenience person I know that I'll be passing that Costco when I go out of town but the thought about like having to wait um, in the line and uh, just kind of having to go out of the way maybe, like not following my map, like that kind of like gives me anxiety and I'm not familiar with that area as much as Mount Pleasant. I am in Mount Pleasant even though I don't live in Mount Pleasant at least once a day. I didn't really notice that um, for a while because to me like anything before work I'm like I don't really count it per se I don't know that's I, that's not a great way to explain it but I always still oh I did kind of rant about Mount Pleasant because I was meeting Margaret that night for dinner and I said that I'm always still open to going to Mount Pleasant. I'm sort of like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday girl for Orange Theory. Um, my favorite coach coaches on Mondays and Fridays. And then, well, yeah, he's probably my, my second favorite coach coaches on Wednesdays. So it kind of just works out. And then there's always a speed trap at the bottom of the rav now. I've seen it. So on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, or sometimes just Mondays, Fridays, um, I'm getting up at 5.20. I'm out the door by, well, 5.25, 5.30. I'm out the door by 5.50, and I'm in Mount Pleasant taking this 615 orange series at 615 and then with class pass i have tried to do either well i really liked form pilates downtown i really liked it a lot but it's very expensive and i was 
hoping and praying they'd be on fast pass, but they're not. It was my goal to, when I wasn't doing Orange Siri, I would be finding another workout. And then of course having like a break, like a rest day in there somewhere. Usually, typically like Tuesday or Thursday. Um, I also typically don't work out on Saturdays. But since this new class was happening, I wanted to try it out. When I have an event and I'm like drinking a lot, I like to like move my body and like get some of the energy out. Because yeah, last Friday I didn't work out. We did that Euphoria Greenville and I just felt like I was kind of a mess. Like I had stayed out late on Thursday, which is not an excuse. Like, if I'm planning on working out the next day, I can tell my friends that I'm calling it a night. But yeah, and so then it kind of just, like, messed up my whole weekend. I don't like that. I'm gonna see when this Firestone is open. Oh my gosh. Oh, I must have been so fixated on, like bringing my camera that I didn't bring my phone with me. What the heck? Like, what if something happened? Not that it is likely. Well, I did get my car broken into here once. I had a Louis Vuitton tote bag stolen from me. Um, I usually go in like three minutes before class starts. I got here quickly. Um, maybe I should go look when they open. I'm guessing it would be nine. I mean, there's cars over there, right? Are car places open on Saturdays? Maybe Hunter, my coach, will let me like look up the time or whoever's signing me in. Oh man. And I did feel like kind of a mess today because I woke up at uh, like 6.45 when I didn't need to wake up until 7 15 so there's no point in me sleeping in anymore i'm always like in a cranky mood because i feel like i don't get any sleep anymore because our fall schedule is so crazy but i feel better when i wake up early but obviously i'm like just still kind of tired oh my gosh oh my gosh guys i should have drank this yeah, I won't be vlogging next time. Let me drink this, and then I'm gonna have to use this as my water bottle because I didn't bring my water bottle. Oh my God. <sighs> Let me chug this, and I will talk to y'all later. Like, almost hurts to turn my car because that workout was so crazy. It was a good one. So, as you just saw, my tire pressure is good now. And you know what? Break. I should have stopped for gas. You just don't get gas in North Charleston. You just don't do it. I'm so tired now. It, the lift classes are awesome because um, the reason why they created these classes is because a lot of the times when you're doing, the reason why they created this like floor block class is because when you're doing this circuit training, Odds are you're going to want to get the cardio out of the way. Not everyone can start on the tread. Luckily, I was a whiny little brat. Just kidding. But I am on like the um, tread preferred list. So me and my whole like Orange Siri crew, we get to start on the treads. But it's actually like not doing great things for our bodies all the time, even though you're getting the hard part out of the way first. When you do a weight floor block, like arms it's fine but when you're doing a bunch of like leg exercises like who wants to burn out their legs and then go run for like 15 to 22 minutes you know not i so i like to get the running out of the way because that's the hardest part for me anyways like i'm still lifting very heavy on the weight floor i Typically, I'm lifting a lot heavier than most of the girls in there. I actually take it seriously because I really love the weight floor. So I'm constantly thinking about lifting heavier, but today, since I hadn't run 
and rode before I got to the weight floor. I'm getting self-conscious about filming. I don't even know if I finished a story about the weight floor. Anyways, it pushed me to lift heavier than I even normally do. So it's like, yeah, I'm getting burnt out when I'm running and I'm rowing and I'm probably not, I'm not lifting as heavy as I should. So that was good for me. Okay, BRB. Well, looky there. My water bottle and my phone. So just very quickly, this is the look and I'm really proud of myself. I actually put on some lashes to just make my look like pop a little bit. Highlighter looks good in this lighting. I feel really bad because I kind of felt like I was rushing so I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to film the glam this time around. But I did, which I probably need to stick a couple bobby pins in there or like spray it more. But I did that knot bun and like should probably try to smooth that out a little bit. Ow! But yeah, I am super happy with how this turned out. And I think that like if I get any in any pictures, like It'll look really good. I need to go. It's already past noon and I just need to go. So hopefully I can like vlog at the hotel a little bit. I will talk to you guys later. So I'll give a little room tour. Pretty nice. Um, this is the Hilton Garden Inn in downtown Beaufort. Um, don't have much of a view but it's just me so it's kind of funny I have two beds but and I haven't looked at the bathroom yet nice I'm in my hokey colors um you guys saw me in this when I left the house I was very upset to see that the bar was closed um downstairs but they said they said that there's a bar within walking distance so i'm going to fix um one of my lashes and then i was gonna go head down to the bar try to be back here by like three it is now 1 50 and I just feel like we have to be downstairs in the lobby by 3.30 in order to get on the bus um, that they're providing since um, the wedding's actually in Calabasie, which is like, I think another island like near Beaufort and it's like hard to get out there or something. So got very lucky because I kind of came in on this room block a little late and they still were able to get me on the room block. But I am going to fix, oh, this is perfect. Okay, I got on the road and then their phones weren't working. So I was like, this is not a great sign. I'm very happy I did my hair and makeup at home, but I was able to check in early. The thing is I'm gonna be going to the bar by myself, but maybe we'll, I'll uh, run in to some Hokies. I saw a guy getting on the elevator when I was going to get my stuff, who may or may not have been in a tech polo. And it was funny, I saw the bar was closed 
I think there was a very obvious expression on my face that I was upset and I was like, what time does your bar open? And the lady was like, five. And I was like, seriously? And she was like, yeah. Um, let me go get my brushes. And I said, well, is there anywhere else I can go? And she was like, to do what? And I was, I thought it was pretty obvious that I needed another place to go drink. But I said, oh, to get a drink. And she kind of laughed at me. Like, I just said it funny. But yes, all fixed. Just really feel like I did a great job my makeup i'm very happy I have someone um pushing me out the door i won't name names but their football team is currently beating florida state by three right now and i would really like to go see if maybe they can uh, whip up on them a little bit but let's see um okay well yes i'm gonna go drink and watch football and I will try and vlog maybe a little bit later like I said I want to be respectful and like don't want people to think I'm weird if I like pull my camera out at the wedding I'll see you guys later <laughs> Yeah, I like the hard to do for the first time. She's like, I had a bunch of options.